Right, so it's not really a secret that this channel has a bit of a dim view of Keir Starmer. Put it nicely. I think most regular viewers have probably cottoned on to this by now from his political naivety, which requires him to have Blairite handlers effectively operating him like a glove puppet. Frankly, if he were any more clueless, he'd need watering twice a week. He takes himself far too seriously when I certainly don't. A man with all the charisma of topsoil and all the authoritative speaking skills of an anxiety-ridden supply teacher. But whilst this human form of Zolbadem may be a rubbish politician and be in possession of a voice that has all the soothing qualities of nappy rash, his descent into further and further right-wing ideology and thinking and policy has now hit the point where he's basically now on the subject of immigration decided fascism is the only way to out-nasty the Tories. He once said he wanted to make the moral case for immigration. Now he wants to brand families knowing their kids are coming on the next small boat as terrorists. This all came out yesterday morning when Starmer went on Trevor Phillips' show on Sky. Uh, Phillips himself, a formerly suspended Labour member accused of Islamophobia, quietly readmitted because you only seem to get expelled over anti-Semitism, it seems, these days, where Phillips said to Starmer, I want to be clear whether you mean what you say. Another possibility, which is in legislation, terrorism legislation, is that someone who knows that an active people smuggling is about to take place will be subject to Section 38B and is required to report that to the police or face five years in jail, which would apply if what you say, what you mean, for example, families of children who come across on those boats, who know they are going to arrive on those boats, do you actually mean to treat them as terrorists or not? Now, you can read Philip's question in a couple of different ways, actually. I've watched the clip a few times, and on one hand, you could argue he's teeing Starmer up to give the answer he wants him to give, or you could read it as giving Starmer the chance to make an exception to labelling those aware of a boat crossing coming as terrorists. I would like to think, given we are talking about children in this example, it is the latter, that he was giving Starmer the chance to give a human response. Bearing in mind Starmer is himself a father, bearing in mind he's supposed to be a former human rights barrister. Starmer's response, however, was... Well, what I've said, Trevor, is that we need to put them in the bracket of terrorists, and that's why I want it to be used to smash those operations. We could be talking about parents who have come ahead of time and sent with their kids after. Those parents would be labelled terrorists. The definition of a terrorist is a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. So explain to me how knowing your kid is coming on the next small boat fits that definition. Trevor Phillips quoted from the Terrorism Act of 2000, Section 38B, which simply states it is an offence for someone to not inform the police if they know or have information they believe might be of material assistance to the police to not disclose it. But this relates to acts of terrorism. Phillips talks in terms of people smuggling, but that isn't mentioned in Section 38B. It would only come under Section 38B of the Terrorism Act if Starmer amends it to include people trafficking as an act of terrorism, which, as the aforementioned, definitely shows it doesn't. These are people trying to enter the country to claim asylum. It has to be also remembered that under the Human Rights Act, there is no such thing as an illegal asylum seeker, since they can claim asylum once on British soil, and any and all crimes of result in, that led up to the entering of this country illegally are completely nullified at that point. This is why talk of illegal entry to this company, uh, to, to this country, to seek asylum is complete bunkum, because you cannot illegally claim asylum. If no crime is committed, then under the Human Rights Act, how can anyone with prior knowledge of this be prosecuted for terrorism? The minute people land and claim asylum, all is forgiven in effect. How will, the, how will you police that? You're nicked for terrorism because you know your boat is coming. Oh, it's landed, is it? Oh, well, handcuffs off, lads. Or are they still chargeable with a terrorism offence, even as the person on the boat might, as an example, succeed in making their asylum claim? Who else is going to be a terrorist then, Keith? Well, the people smugglers themselves, well, they are absolutely criminals, no doubt about that. But sending people across the channel in a boat to hopefully not drown and start a new life, while bleeding them dry of every worldly good they might own, isn't quite the same as bombing London in the name of Al-Qaeda, is it? Starmer opining on terrorism as a Zionist without qualification is also a little bit rich, because making up new terrorism definitions under bonkers new border legislation isn't the same as an apartheid state you consistently turn a blind eye to, say, gunning down kids in the street, or firing off tear gas grenades into crowds, or stealing homes while the family who lived there happened to be attending a funeral, things like that, all in the name of religious and political superiority, because... That's a lot closer to that definition of terrorism, isn't it? But then this is the state of Israel we're talking about now, and Starmer would probably just refuse to discuss it, such as his arrogance, but also his hypocrisy.
Of course, his supporters are denying he ever even said this on TV, but having literally gone out on live TV and spoken to Trevor Phillips, he very much did say it. I have seen people arguing all day he meant the people traffickers only, not the family, but that isn't true. And if you read Section 38B, add in what Phillips put to Starmer, the words he used about treating not reporting a boat crossing as a terrorist offence, and Starmer not denying it, in fact clarifying what Phillips said was right, and you have a pretty emphatic affirmation there. All Starmer is doing here is fishing for right-wing votes, hoping to outflank the Tories to the right of them on small boat crossings, even as the Tories are just about as right-wing as you can get on that issue right now, short of shooting people down as they try to land. What that means is there's a gulf on the left for someone with some common sense to fill. A safe, legal asylum route that instead of wasting money on a failing war against people traffickers would instead put them out of business whilst ensuring no more people drown in the channel. A returns agreement negotiated with the EU so we take a fair share of people here and aren't subject to having to home every single person coming here as we still currently are with the Tories instead fixated on deportations. Stop criminalising people who may have fled all manner of war prosecution may have escaped actual terrorists and deserve help not to be labelled as terrorists themselves or their families who are already here. What Starmer is proposing is fascistic and dangerous and won't change a damn thing as desperate people prepared to risk their lives to come here, for whatever their reasons may be, will stoop till do it. You can't stop all the votes for as long as you incentivise people to make money from doing it. If you cut them off financially though, provide a legal safe asylum route, treat these people with dignity and respect instead, well, that's how you fix this issue completely once and for all. And it won't be fixed any other way. If only there was somebody making this on a common sense, obvious, frankly, position their own. Oh, wait, there is. It's the Green Party. Tell me your thoughts on this. So do you agree with Starmer or is he is one fascist pol policy short of going around in military uniform from now on? What do you make of labelling not just the people traffickers, but families of those being trafficked if they're in the know is confirmed to Trevor Phillips as terrorist by a future Labour government. Is this an abuse of terrorism law? Is this what it was intended to be used for? Do have your say in the comments below and I'll be part of the conversation. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation where all these newly minted victims of terrorism are starmers, the people actually coming to claim asylum, the only ones not actually being termed terrorists in all of this will still be banged up on a prison ship for their efforts, as Starmer reckons he has no choice but to use the Tory Legionella barge. But, as always in politics, it is always a choice. I'll hopefully see you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.